What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Plaid Daddies. I'm out here on the river again and it's freezing cold. Literally, it's freezing cold. Uh, there's ice on my boat right now. But whatever, you get out when you can. Uh, I'm in a spot you guys probably can recognize pretty easy. That's uh, Three Mile Island down there. Um, it's actually, they're actually closing it down, but it's still active right now. But I'm out here trying to target some channel cats again. There's a bunch of them in this body of water and hopefully I can get into them today. Stick around, let's see. All right, so what I got going on here is, uh, it's like three foot right up here and then right back here it drops off. I was trying to anchor up a little bit further, but this will work. Uh, and it's between six and a half and eight and a half foot of water behind me. And there's all these rapids and it drops down. And it, yeah, it's turbulent, but there's also some calm areas down there. I'm hoping they're, they're hanging out in there so I'm, I'm throwing my uh, double hook rigs like usual with some shad on it and I'm just hoping for the best today I, I don't have as much confidence as I did in my other spot I was at last week but I know I'll pull some out of this body of water I might have to uh, try a couple different spots for it to happen but I know I'll get some today all right well apparently there's some duck hunters up river from me I didn't see them but I just heard their uh, goose call wasn't really that great of a goose call but I heard it so I'm gonna move I don't want to be that guy fishing right right near him uh, I know how much that sucks so I'm gonna go down to another spot where I know there's not gonna be anybody it's gonna be the, the intake of uh, Three Mile Island So this is the intake of Three Mile Island, and uh, a lot of people didn't know this, but you could actually fish this um, even when it was active. They uh, they never really restricted. You just can't touch the island. That's when the, they get a little worked up. But yeah, you could fish this, and uh, right behind me, there's a good like 12 foot ledge out there, and then it's it's between uh, seven and nine foot behind me, but it definitely drops off that side. So I'm working both areas. It's really rocky and I, I'm already kind of getting hung up a little bit. So I don't know how long I'll stay here, how many rigs I'll go through, but definitely want to give it a Come shot. On, buddy. It's it's tasty. There's not much food to be had right now. You may as well just take it. What's the worst that could happen? Holy finicky bites. As you can see I moved down a little bit. I'm more in the channel now. This uh it's a solid channel that runs down the middle here. It's more like how, how I was fishing up there at City Island. It definitely reminds me of that. And I'm just kind of fanning out, trying to get both edges here in the middle. Oh, I waited him out. And he's back. Nope, I missed him. Dang it. First and only fish so far. I guess the first one is always the only. And uh, I missed it. Dang. The second I take my phone out, this rod starts going. That's the secret, guys. Get distracted. There's a fish, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fishy. He's not big, but it's a fish. On a day like today, I'll take it. I couldn't tell at first if it was just like a log on there or something, but no, he's acting fishy now. Long. It's not much of a fish. Man, this guy hasn't been eating very well. Look how skinny he is. Holy crap. He was <laughs> popped right out. Oh, he is sickly looking, dude. Look at that. He's, he's oh. missing an eye. I don't know if you can see. Missing an eyeball there. 
it's all beat up this eye is like sunken in it's probably gonna lose this one scratched up poor dude got the fish lice oh well he bit he's a good fish now I can actually make this a fishing video I would never put one up without a fish in it I don't want to put one up with just one measly channel cat hopefully I get you guys another one at least this is definitely not a banner day so far but I'll keep on going if he's here probably more sickly looking fish I know you're saying three mile island whatever but it really even with that meltdown it was only a partial meltdown it didn't release any uh, radiation as far as I know so I, I don't think it's because of that I think he was just a sick fish I, I've caught a lot of fish out of here and none of them look like that Come back, come back, there you are. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Feels like it at least. Michael Jackson in it. I don't know if it's the right hand or not, but got one glove on. Hope he stays on. He's rolling a lot, but he feels a little bit heavier. Hey, I can show off for this boat coming up. Ooh, that sinker's all, all the way up there. It's cold. I'm getting that other glove on. I don't know why that sinker's hung up like that. Oh. It's not hung up. All right. It's basically as long as that last guy, just a little bit healthier. A lot healthier. All right. Where are you at in the March tournaments, huh? Or even the second tournament we had here later in the year. Could have used some good fish like you. I was about ready to leave this spot. Maybe I'll hang out a little bit longer. I don't know if you guys can see. Not a bad fish. Probably somewhere around seven or eight pounds. And since the action's been so slow. I'm actually going to weigh this guy. Why not? I like to know how heavy my fish are. Now, I know a lot of people will be like, why are you weighing channel cats? Well, i got nothing else to do. Oh, wow. Nine pounds. Sweet. Let's try that again. That locked really quick. Yeah, nine pounds, four ounces. So, yep, just over, just over nine pounds here. A good tip is if you're gonna mess around getting pictures and stuff, throw your line back in the water because uh, you ain't catching a fish on that line if it's not in the water. It's pretty simple stuff. So get that back in. Now you can take a picture, weigh the fish. I, I'm not following my own advice, of course. I weighed it first, but. You get on side. He goes. All right, well, it's been about 15 minutes since I caught that last guy and I haven't got a bite since, so time to make a move. And I'm just gonna go down maybe 75 yards, just fish the same channel. 
Um, I mean, the fish are in here. I don't know how many. So I'm not going to stick around real long. The fish aren't moving. So I got to move. Maybe uh, it'll be time to update the bait too. It's been on here for a while. Put some, put some fresh shad on. Actually, screw it. I'm doing it now. So I have to do it later. Got to get that scent going or else they're not going to leave their, uh, their little happy hole that they're in. I'll tell you, as soon as I play with that phone, finally got warm enough that my hands aren't completely frozen. I tried checking the text message and this thing's womp. Now I'm thinking it might be on a rock, but there's definitely a fish on it. Hey, he came back, guys. Finally, old like Lucky gets a good strike. Lucky strike. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that rod tip. Hopefully you guys can see it. This thing is doing everything a channel cat likes to do. They're, they're fun though. I know a lot of people don't really like channel cats and I can understand it. But when they're the only fish that you can get to bite right now, any cat, only catfish, I guess. Uh, they're fun. <laughs> they're better than no catfish. Maybe someday someone will illegally introduce blue cats up to this body of water and I will be happy. The state won't be, but I'll be happy about it. Maybe they'll migrate up here. I mean, it, it's only a matter of time. We got fish ladders in all our dams and they're in the lower Susquehanna. So maybe one day we'll have them up here and I can catch real catfish in the winter. But right now, this is what we got. Flatheads don't like to bite in 38 degree water. Still though, I mean, we clearly have some decent channel cats in this area. Not record breakers, but they're good catfish. How is this guy hooked? Looks like he's got two hooks in. Greedy. <laughs> All right, guys. You explain this. You see this? He's got both hooks in there. Both hooks. So he must have got that first one and then swam up and grabbed the second. <laughs> Greedy. He's another probably eight pounder I'm not gonna weigh this guy too but uh yeah probably about eight pounds seven and a half eight he's solid see you later all right guys it's shaping up to be a fairly decent day it's warming up to where it's tolerable I'll give this spot maybe another 10 minutes This one's snagged for like the third time. I don't know why this one's snagging so much. It does have a longer leader. So I'm going to try something that worked last time. And that's uh, letting a whole bunch of line out and letting it create a bow. And then let it get tight. And you, when you pull it, it's pulling it from a different angle. It's actually going to pull it backwards in theory. And sometimes it works. Uh, Probably won't since I'm recording this time, but we'll see. Might have had too much there. I think I got it. Yeah, it worked. That's two times in a row now it worked, so I'm gonna have to keep trying that technique. Definitely is saving me some money here and time. Could be a false alarm here, but I thought I saw that middle rod going. Dang it, put my wet fingertip on my glasses. But today, I mean, they, they've been, yeah, see, they've been uh, giving me plenty of time to get ready. All right, he's on, let me get my glove. It's probably a dumb thing to do, but they, he's fighting pretty good, actually. Fighting that rod holder real good. All right. 
Well, I got a boat coming down on me. Another champion feeling fish here. Could be wrong, but it feels pretty decent. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's at least as big as the other ones. Yeah, he's probably around 10 pounds. Good size channel cat. Real good size. Probably my biggest in a while. He is clamped down. I want to get a weight on this guy. I'd say he's approaching 10 pounds. These guys are pretty cool. Duck hunters over there. They're, they're uh, going nice and slow past me. I don't, I don't even think they were checking out the fish. I think they were just trying to be nice. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, come on. Ten pounds. Yeah, locked right on ten pounds, guys. Whoo! All right, Let's get a good look at him. Ten pounder. Not often you catch a ten pound channel cat. At least not for me. All right, guys. Well, if you made it this far. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I make these videos for you guys and a little bit for, for me too so I can look back at the old trips but mostly for you guys. So thanks for watching and if you haven't already click subscribe. Uh, I put out a video every week uh, and hopefully I'll get Chad out here soon. He's been having a hard time making these trips but uh, you know we're gonna keep on fishing through the winter. We're gonna get down to the Potomac and catch some big ones uh, and we'll you know in between we'll be catching these channel cats. And then once uh, once the water warms back up, we'll start chasing those flatheads again. So, till next time.